Louis Briscoe, Torquay United versus FC United of Manchester. And obviously, the league is incredibly important. But the way this game has built and developed, and the way this town is talking about it, it's almost become the biggest game of the season. Yeah, I mean, obviously we've had a few big games this season already, but I think if you're looking at uh, in terms of importance to the club uh, and to what it means to everyone around here, I think you know it's a it's a big it's a big game for us and it's a big game for them as well. You know, they've got a, a good following, probably probably the biggest game in their history, so they're going to bring quite a few down and they're going to have a good atmosphere. Um, so, but yeah, like I say, it's important for us and it's. It's without getting too far ahead. It's a great chance of getting to a, a, major, a major final at this level. You've been fortunate enough to play at Wembley Stadium, and I know it perhaps didn't work out as you would have wanted. But what is that experience like for a, for a football player? I mean, the whole the whole build up to it. Um, I think this year it's slightly different. I think it's at the end of March rather than at the end of the season, so the build up was a bit more. But um, in terms of the whole day out and the experience for. I had lots of friends and family go, and then there's the, the fans as well. But and, and on a personal note, you're playing at probably one of the best and biggest stadium in the in the world. Um, and you know, for the day out and the experience is, is brilliant. And so I want to put that right from what happened to me a few years ago. In a personal note, but as a team, we're we're here to win things. Um, it's obviously it's a it's a brisk, cold day here in Torquay. You, you've mentioned the lads have been playing football on the beach this morning, been for a boxing session. What is the mood like and, and the feeling amongst the squad as we build up to this huge game? Yeah, it's, it's positive. We're looking forward to it. Um, you know, some people might say we've had a, a lucky a lucky run so far. We've had teams from lower divisions, but it's not been easy. Um, we've had two difficult away ties, and we've had a home tie against probably a team that's going to be up there or thereabouts in the Conference South next year in, in Bromley. So, and we've not conceded a goal. So we're on a good run in the, in the cup competition, um, and and we've drawn. If we if you're to ask us, with no disrespect to FC United, um, we've probably got the best draw we could have asked for at home and against the lowest ranked team in a competition. But we, we can't take that for granted, and um, we've got to keep that in mind and just play our, play our own game. And just a final question: you've, you've touched on the fact that FC United of Manchester are going to bring a serious amount of fans here, which is fantastic for us and for them. How important is it? That the Torquay United public come out and get behind the boys on Saturday. Yes, yeah, it's, it's massive. Um, we, you know, we don't want to be outdone by them uh, uh, on our patch at our home. Um, you know, we want as many people as there, and we want to be out chanting them. You know, they're, they're going to have fierce support. They're, obviously, some loyal fans from the, the real Manchester United are going to be there, so they, they know what it's all about, sort of thing. So we want to we want to outnumber them and you know let them know where where they are.